Hi, we will program two programs. One will have a stack overflow vulnerability in it, and the second one will take advantage of that. So let's begin by the first one, which will be the L1.c. Include stdio page. Then include std 5h then we will declare a first function at n1 which accepts as a parameter a string okay, so it's uh, a char a pointer then we will declare a, a local array which will hold four characters then we will try to copy what's in the argument to the local variable so local and I want to copy str then return 0 and the second function which is simple because it doesn't accept any parameter it just displays a message to the user and if, uh, telling him if you see this it means The overflow has been executed. Well, okay. Then we exit the application altogether. So exit. Then int main and uh, int main returns an integer. And it accepts two, param two parameters. The first one, uh, an integer, which is which is the number of the uh, arguments passed the, to the program, and the second one is the uh, arguments themselves. So it's arg, and it's uh, an array. Then, because I will need the address of this function, I will print it uh, here. Uh, that address will help me execute the uh, stack overflow so address of fn2 will be because it's in hexadecimal i need to use the uh, 0x so 08 then x and here just a new line then fn2 okay and now i just call the function one with the parameter args the first parameter will pass to the program Z uh, sorry the second one because the first one uh, which is args uh, zero is the name of the executable itself so let's save this and uh, compile it just to say o vl one dot exe and i want to compile vl one dot c so there we go let's execute vl c dot uh, exe with let's say three uh, eight and there we go we, it uh, gives us the address of the second function it doesn't display the argument because we didn't uh, tell it to in the program well now let's pass to the program this so I execute and there is the program and I get this error with application name and and this uh, offset here which is of interest to us let's now uh, pass to the program another argument and this time let's say c, c, c and if I execute I click here and here we see 43 43 43 43 let's again execute but, we, but this time with just two C's and if I click here uh -huh, you see just 43 43 and by the way 43 is the ASCII code of the C character so basically this is the ASCII code of uh, C, which basically means we have overwritten uh, uh, the return address of uh, from the uh, our program uh, by the arguments we pass it to the command here. So what we will do is program another uh, program which will take advantage of that vulnerability to execute the second function in the first 
program so let's do that notepad i will call this xp on that say okay so i start by including as, as always stdio.h and include this time windows that h in its main it doesn't accept any parameter in this case here so we start by declaring a variable which i will call just uh, xp because it will hold the exploits uh, sorry the command of the exploit so I will uh, give it uh, 70 character and here I will use the l1.exe the name of our program and space you must add the space here or otherwise it won't work and there and then the uh, rate variable which will hold the return address which we have here but we must inverse uh, it because uh, until uh, uses what's called the uh, little andian which is the inverse of what we have uh, here so it's af and because it's hexa hexadecimal i will use uh, backslash uh, x af and uh, x well then x 30 uh, the two zeros uh, the doesn't don't matter and then char overflow so i call it just uh, o f for simplicity and that will be the argument the first argument which will be just uh, eight uh, bytes long this will be the will be uh, written to the uh, the array the local array in the first function of our first program this will overwrite the base uh, stack uh, uh, pointer which is a register that holds the address of the uh, base uh, the stack base or base uh, stack and this and ag and to that we will add the address of the return which will be the function of the second uh, our second function in the first program so now we just spr cat concatenate uh, xp with first with the offset and then spr cat all that with uh, ret and now we execute that in So it's xp and 0 and uh, that's it so let's save this and compile it just to see that o it's xp1.exe let's execute and there we go so now let's execute xp.exe and there it works perfectly we see our message if you see this it means the overflow has been executed so i hope now you understand how uh, stack overflows work and thank you